to Tuesday evening Hatha Yoga. So we've got a few different things to work on tonight. Thanks for joining. So we're going to work uh, on balance, uh, seated stretches, standing stretches and front of the body stretches. So front of the body stretches is great for opening up the body, opening up the heart and the chest. Also great for strengthening our back. So we'll start as usual in initial relaxation. So that's lying down on our backs. Hello Christine, thanks for joining. Anyone else who's there as well, thanks for joining. So initial relaxation helps us just to assess our bodies before we start the yoga. So, initial relaxation, we can have our knees together and feet out at the side, or we can just have the knees apart and the feet apart with the legs bent up, or the legs straight out on the floor. And if the legs are straight out, just wobble the, wiggle the toes side to side, and then let the toes fall out to the side naturally and have your arms out at the side with the palms facing up, drawing the chin in towards the chest slightly. Feel the back of your head resting onto your block or mat, maybe just snuggling the shoulders a little bit into the floor. And feel the whole weight of the body now release down into the floor. Start to bring awareness to your breath. Start by assessing how easy it is for you to notice your own breath, to stay aware of your breath. Notice maybe if you can stay aware of the breath for three breaths in and out, or maybe six breaths in and out. So it's just concentrating on your in breath and your out breath. to deepen the breath. Before we deepen the breath, you want to notice if you found it easy or hard to stay focused on that natural breath. And then moving into the three-part breath. So first of all, hands onto the tummy. As you breathe in, the tummy expands. As you breathe out, the tummy relaxes back down. to their ribs at the side. As you breathe in, the ribs expand. As you breathe out, the ribs release slowly. And 
chest, release slowly on the exhale. to that spot. So it could be the tummy, the side ribs or just under the collarbones. And we'll take about a minute to focus on the three-part breath, fully expanding the body on your inhale, fully releasing the body on your exhale. leaving that three-part breath behind, returning to your natural breath, or throughout the class you could try the Ujjayi breathing, which is where we constrict the back of the throat, and we're breathing from the back of the throat, so the inhale, and the exhale. So it helps you to um, get a deeper breath in and out with uh, the Ujjayi breathing, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so we'll get ready for the warm up of the body lying on the floor. So first of all, taking the feet together, take a deep breath in, stretching the arms all the way above the head, point the fingers, point the toes, exhale slowly, bring the arms down, and then bring both feet closer into the body and then draw the knees in towards the chest. So hugging the knees in towards the chest. And now taking your knees down to the right hand side, releasing the knees down and extending the fingertips out towards the side with the palms facing up. And then looking over to your left fingertips you're breathing in, extend the left fingertips away, feel the opening in the chest, and then as you exhale, we're drawing the left palm to bring over to the right palm. So this is called angel wing. So breathing in to open up the chest, open up the arms, and breathing out, bringing the palms back together on the right hand side. So three or four of these working with your breath. And if you want to, you can follow those left fingertips as they stretch out to the side. And then come back to bring the palms together. So one more, breathing in. And breathing out. Okay, now extend both hands out to the side again. As you breathe in, draw the knees back to the centre, maybe a couple of pelvic tilts to readjust the pelvis and the back, and inhale again at the centre, and exhaling over to the left. So first of all, try and really extend your fingers away again, so we're opening up the front of the body, breathing in, breathing out, follow the thing, right fingertips as they touch palm to palm on your left hand side. 
Breathing in again. So extend and open. And breathing out, palms together. Three or four more of these. Extend the fingertips away, open the arms as you breathe in, bring the knees back to the center and then draw the knees in towards the chest again. So really try to hug the knees into the chest and then slowly bring the nose towards the knees, so curling up as much as you can and then releasing back down. Two more, curling up as you breathe out. As you breathe in, releasing that back down, breathing out, nose or forehead to the knees, and slowly bring the head back to the floor, and bring the feet down to the floor, and stretch out both legs, taking a breath in, stretch the arms above the head again, and breath out slowly, bringing the arms back down. Draw the feet up and take the knees down to your right hand side. Bring the body onto the right hand side and press into the hands to lift up slowly. Okay, so coming to all fours. Okay, so we're going to do some movements first of all uh, on balance and uh, standing stretches. So first of all, work a little bit on mobility of the back. So keeping our spine young, so breathing in to lift up for our cow, breathing out, slowly arching the spine up, looking towards the thighs and drawing the tummy in. Breathe in, lifting up for a cow. Breathe out into your angry cat. So try and push the mat away as much as possible. Draw the tummy in. Two more, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Okay, and now stepping your right foot forward. Okay, so just into a gentle lunge first of all. Okay, and then stepping the right foot back and then the left foot forward. So just creating a little bit of gradual mobility and stepping back the left foot. Okay, so now turning the toes under one at a time, lift up into a plank, then lift up into down dog. So down dog, just going to uh, keep it gentle first of all with the knees slightly bent, try and draw your chest through to your thighs and lift your hips up towards the ceiling, and then bending one knee and pressing the other heel into the floor. So walking the dog. You can do this walking the dog slowly or quickly. It's up to you. Um, what we want is the mind-body connection. So the mind knows what the body's doing and the body knows what the mind's doing. And depending on how you feel, the heels might want to come up and down quickly or you might want to really savour the stretch in the calves and the back of the legs. Okay, and then slowly we're walking the hands back towards the feet, coming into a gentle forward fold. So gentle forward fold, try to drape your chest so it's on the thighs. Try to bend your knees as much as you need to to do this. And here we can either take hold of opposite elbows or we can take the hands, interlock the hands behind the um, calves. And then crown of the head comes down towards the floor and we see if we can gently straighten the legs. And we allow gravity to draw the head or the crown of the head closer to the floor. So keeping it gentle, keep the knees bent if you need to. 
five breaths. Bend the knees a little bit more, bring the palms flat down in front of you and then walk the hands back into down dog. Well, this time that bit, as we've um, warmed up the hamstrings a little bit we'll go, we'll go into a deeper down dog. So check the fingers are spread, so really spread the fingers as far apart as you can. Draw that chest through to the thighs, see if we can draw the kneecaps up and hold for five breaths. Now bending the knees slightly, walk the hands back towards the feet and then slowly we're drawing the fingertips up the body, keep the chin on the chest and bringing the head up last. Okay so we'll come into the first of these standing stretches. So it's part of the golden sequence. Uh, golden seed sequence that we do. So we'll do that first and then we'll go into the um, deeper stretches. So kind of a bit of a, a, a flow or vinyasa, they call it vinyasa. And it, vinyasa means to flow with intent or to place different parts of the body with intent. So we, we the mind-body connection again. So start with the feet apart and the toes about um, 10 to and 10 past if toes were on the clock. Okay, so palms facing forward and breathing in to lift up. And breathing out, we're turning the knees out and we're coming into horse stance. So we're pushing the hands out to the side, seeing if we can hold for three breaths. And then take the toes forward, straighten the legs and come forward into elephant laces, trunk on the earth. So the heels are out slightly and the toes are in slightly. Just helps to connect, protect the knee joint. And drawing those kneecaps up if you can so the thighs are engaged. Okay, so pressing your left hand into the floor and stretching the right fingertips up towards the ceiling. Nice deep breath in. And breath out, bring the right hand down to the floor. And then breathing in, lifting the left fingertips up towards the ceiling. Breathe out, left hand comes down. So we're going to come into the first variation. So we're coming into triangle in a different way than we normally do. So we're taking our right toes out to the side and then we're bringing our left hand behind us onto our lower back. So your back of the hand rests on the lower back. And then we're coming into the triangle from the ground instead of from standing up. So here, triangle, we want that left shoulder back and we want to come up until that chest is open and the left shoulder's back. Okay, so if you want to, you can go lower with your hand or you can keep the hand up. Okay, and then stretching up the left fingertips. So we come into triangle a slightly different way from Elephant lays its trunk on the earth. So three breaths. Okay, and then bring the hand, the left hand onto the hip and just bending that right knee. And then the right elbow comes onto the right thigh. So now we're in the side angle. So again, this left hand can try to reach on top, onto top of the right thigh into the side ankle which keeps our chest open or we can stretch those left fingertips up towards the right hand side. So three breaths again, we can try and go a little bit deeper into this side angle. And then 
then from side angle we're going to turn so we're over the right thigh and bring the hand either side of the right foot and also that left heel is off the floor and we're drawing the kneecap up so the left leg is straight. So three breaths in the lunge, see if we can lift the chest forward. Okay, and then coming back to elephant lays its trunk on the earth. So we're bringing the hands back to the centre and toes facing forward, elephant lays its trunk on the earth. So now we're going into triangle on our left side. So making sure our kneecaps are drawn up again and then turning the toes out to the left. And the right heel out slightly. Then we're bringing our right hand onto our lower back and we're coming up slowly, straightening out that left leg and the right leg straight as well. So we want that right shoulder back. So it's up to you if you can bring the leg, the hand further down that left leg or we can keep the hand up and then we're stretching up the right fingertips, palms facing forward. So only go low if you can keep your chest open. So three breaths in triangle. And then bending your left knee, coming into the side angle. So again, we can Keep that right hand behind, so we're trying to draw it round onto the left, top of the left thigh. So again, that helps us to keep the chest open, right shoulder back. Go a little bit lower, keep both feet pressing into the floor, and the back leg is the kneecap drawing up. So three breaths. Okay, and then we're turning over the left leg for the lunge. So we're trying to lift our chest forward and we're trying to keep that right leg as straight and strong as possible. Drawing the right kneecap up, pushing the right heel back, three breaths. Coming back to the wide-legged elephant lays its trunk on the earth. So toes forward, hands resting on the floor. So pressing your left hand into the floor, lifting up the right fingertips up towards the ceiling, rotating the chest towards the right, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, bring the right hand to the floor, Breathing in, stretching the left fingertips up towards the ceiling and out. Breathing in and breathing out. Slowly bring the left hand down. Now bending the knees. So we're coming up into rocking horse. So we're lifting up, holding on to the reins of the rocking horse. Three breaths. Now we come into dipping birds, so straightening the legs, sweeping our wings behind us. See if we can reach down for that golden seed. Breathe in, bend the knees, lift up into rocking horse. Breathe out, back into dipping bird. Breathe in, lift up rocking horse. And then sweeping the wings behind, interlock the fingers. Really try to straighten your arms come into dipping bird for three breaths. See if we can reach down a little bit lower for that golden seed. And press into the feet, bend the knees, slowly lift up, release the hands. Breathe in, stretch the hands, palms together, and breathe out, release the hands out to the side. Okay, and step the feet together, shake out the ankles, maybe a couple of rotations. So 
So next we're going to do the balance exercises. So we're going to do them one at a time, each side, and then we're going to see if we can find our favourite and do them kind of one after the other on the same side. So balance is great for, obviously for our balance. So we have to try and do balance stuff every day or use it or lose it. Also great for strengthening the, you know, the standing leg. So we're going to start with, we're going to do um, five, no, four uh, balance stretches. So we're going to do tree, dancer, eagle prep and full eagle if you want to and then the last one is called hand to big toe where we're trying to touch our fingers to our big toe and stretch the leg out so i've got my sofa next to me right so we're going to start by pressing your right foot into the floor so really feel the, the right foot rooting down that helps with the stability the first stretch is tree so left ankle into the right ankle, the right shin or the right upper thigh. It isn't really about how far you get your leg, your foot up the leg, it's more how you can take the knee out to the side and then hold, find the concentration and focus. You can have the palms together or we can take the arms out like the branches of the tree then if we want to we can stretch our fingers above the head and bring the palms together so see if you can hold for five breaths and then bring the hands slowly down bringing the foot down to the floor. Shake out the legs and then tree to the other side. So now the left foot presses into the floor, the right ankle into the left ankle or the left shin, keeping that right knee out to the side, maybe the right foot into the upper left thigh. Okay, and finding your focus, concentration, either palms together with the fingers spread if you've got your palms together or with the fingers still spread, palms out, hands out to the side, or palms together above the head. Five breaths. Bring the arms, hands slowly down and release the foot. So dancer, another one for balance. So we'll start by pressing your right foot into the floor, taking hold of the left ankle with the left hand. We start with the knees together and pushing the hips forward. So we're drawing our chest forward as well. Okay, so that might be enough or we can stretch the right arm by the right ear with the palm facing forward if you want to take this one further we keep stretching the fingertips up towards the ceiling we take the left foot back trying to lift the left foot up towards the ceiling okay so five breaths bring the knees together push the hips forward and release the hand and release the foot okay and change sides okay so left foot presses into the floor and we're taking hold of that right ankle with the right hand press your left foot into the floor for stability knees together and try and draw that um, hip forward both hips forward trying to draw the um, right foot closer to the bottom foot lifting the chest good posture and then if you want to we can draw the 
Left fingertips up towards the ceiling, palm facing forward. Really trying to stretch up those left fingertips. Then to take it further, coming slightly forward, keep the stretch and taking the right foot up towards the ceiling for five breaths. Slowly bring the left hand down, knees together, hips forward, release the foot. Okay, so we'll go into eagle prep or eagle. So I'll show you eagle prep first. So pressing your right foot into the floor, go with the left ankle over the right thigh. So there's various ways to do this. If we go lower, keep pressing your right foot into the floor you'll get, well I get a nice stretch in my right calf. So I could do this, could do with doing this more often. Okay, if you want to try the eagle, first of all, palms together. Okay, so this is still the eagle prep. Okay, if you want to go further, you would draw your left ankle round the back of the right calf. And again, you can go lower or you can stand up taller. So if your left knee's on top, when we go into eagle arms, your right elbow's on top. Try and intertwine the elbows and bring the palms together and see if you can hold for five breaths. the arms first and release the feet shake out the ankles so the other side pressing your left foot into the floor first of all eagle prep so that's bending that left knee and drawing your right heel over the left thigh so that might be enough just to hold there or palms together so if you do the movements too quick or you're not focused that's when we lose our balance. Okay, so going further into eagle, we're drawing the, that right ankle around the back of the left calf. So we can stand up taller or we can go lower. And then our right knee is on top. <laughs> so our left elbow comes over the right elbow, palms together. See if we can keep balance. Lift the elbows up and hold for five breaths. Okay, and release. Right, okay, so the last one is hand to big toe. So we're starting by pressing our right foot into the floor. This time drawing the, first of all, it could be just that left knee into the um, chest, we're holding on with the left hand, or we can reach forward to touch the big toes. So that might be enough with the right hand on the right hip, or if you're more flexible than me, you'll be able to extend that left leg out straight. But this is one that's not accessible to me. See, see how you find it, five breaths. slowly lower and then we change sides so left foot into the floor we can either take hold of the right knee with the right hand or we can try and reach forward for the big toe and then again we can try and stretch out that right leg could do it a bit better on this side the thing we don't want to do is lean forward too much we want to stand up tall and then extend that right foot away for five breaths okay and release 
down slowly and shake out. So we're going to try all four or five of these one after the other but we won't hold for too long or you can stay in one longer if you want to. Okay so starting with three so hold until you want to change. I'll probably hold each one for about three breaths. then going straight into dampfer so taking hold of the left foot with the left hand stretching the right hand up so focus on really growing tall three breaths okay and then Coming into the eagle prep first, so left ankle over right thigh, bending into the eagle or taking that right foot, be left foot behind the right calf, right elbow over left elbow, about three breaths. Okay, so that's a lot of strength standing on that uh, right leg. So just a couple of rotations, one direction, the other direction. Okay, and then changing sides. So right foot into the floor, left ankle into the right ankle or the shin or the upper thigh. So coming into tree first. This side, aren't we? Doing the other side, sorry. So, so we're coming into tree on the right side. Three breaths. And going straight into dancer, taking hold of the right ankle with the right hand. Okay, stretching the left fingertips up. Stay here or come forward. Three breaths. And then going into the eagle prep or the full eagle. Right ankle over left thigh. And keep the hands on the hips or palms together. Keep trying to lift your chest or that right ankle behind the left calf, left elbow over right elbow and if you can hold for three breaths. through the feet to lift up slowly and release the arms. Okay so hope you enjoyed the challenges there with the balance. Okay so we'll come down to our mats, we'll do our front of body stretches to open up the front of the body and then we'll go into more seated postures. Okay so I'll show you four um, front of the body stretches, four or five. So we've got sphinx, locust, bow and camel. So coming first of all into sphinx. So this is the gentlest, one of my favourite um, stretches, more relaxing that we can do for 5, 10, 15 minutes. So press into the elbows and try and draw the chest through. You can either look forwards or you can look down, it's up to you. You can do some neck stretches by bringing the chin to the right shoulder. Then the chin to the centre and then the chin to the left shoulder. So nice stretches here for the um, neck. 
And then if you want uh, a stretch of the shoulders, we do the bow tie. So we bring the right elbow over the top and then try and extend the fingertips away. into the elbows and then draw the other elbow on top and walk the fingertips away again. Feel a um, stretch in our shoulder blades. And press into the elbows again to lift back to sphinx. So if the, if the following exercises or stretches become too much, either come back to Sphinx or rest. Make a pillow with your hands and rest your cheek or your forehead on your pillow. So that's to relax if you need to. So this is kind of your hour, your time. So only do what feels good to you. So for the um, locust, we bring the forehead to the mat and we bring the hands at the side. So we're pressing the palms into the floor. So first of all, we go into stages. So press the palms into the floor, and breathe in to lift the head and the chest to look forward slightly. But try to keep the back of your head so it's in line with your neck and your back, okay? And then as you exhale, lower down. So four or more of those, breathing in, just lifting the chest, breathing out to lower. Breathe in to lift, breathe out to lower, two more, breathe in to lift, breathe out to lower, breathe in to lift, breathe out to lower. Okay, so what I forgot to say here was we need to draw the kneecaps up, we need to squeeze the thighs together and squeeze the glutes and squeeze the tummy. Okay, so with the forehead down, with the palms pressing into the floor, now we're lifting up the legs. So breathe in to lift the legs. Squeeze in every part of the legs. Breathe out to lower. Breathe in to lift. Breathe out to lower. Breathe in to lift. Breathe out to lower. Breathe in, squeeze, lift and lower. Then the next time we're going to lift the chest and the legs, still keeping the palms pressing into the floor. So breathe, lift the chest, lift the legs, breathe out lower, breathe in, lift, breathe out lower. Two more, deep breath in, lift, breath out lower, one more, breathe in, and breathe out. Okay, so just have a rest, bringing the hands forward, make a pillow with your hands and rest your cheek on the pillows. Bring the big toes together and the heels out to the side. So here, imagine you're breathing energy into the whole of your back. So the back expands as you breathe in. And the back and everything releases as you breathe out. So we come back into Sphinx and get ready for bow. So there's a couple of options. You can stay in Sphinx, as always, um, and we can do single bow or double bow. So if you're doing single bow, resting your left elbow into the floor with the hand kind of in front, and then take hold of your right leg with the right hand. So this is kind of like we've just done dancer standing. So try not to... Um, to to lean over onto your left, try to press your right hip into the floor and draw that right foot closer to the bottom and keep trying to press into your left elbow to lift the chest forward. Okay, 
slowly release the right foot to the floor. Then changing sides, so pressing your right elbow into the floor, lifting up that left foot, taking hold of the left foot, left ankle with the left hand. Keep pressing into your right elbow, drawing the chest forward and drawing the left foot closer to the bottom. About three breaths. the left foot. Okay, so if you want to try proper full bow, we want to be lifting the chest forward still and taking hold of both feet. So lifting the feet up, taking the hands behind, try not to let the knees splay out, so squeezing the knees about hip width apart, then seeing if we can lift the chest forward and come up with the knees lifting off the mat. Hold for about three breaths. down slowly, bring the hands forward again, make a pillow with your hands, rest the forehead or a cheek on the pillow, big toes together and heels out to the side. slowly press into the elbows as we lift up into tabletop so we've done quite a few back bends there we're just um, resetting our spine into some cats and cows so breathing in to lift breathing out to arch the spine up towards the ceiling pulling the tummy in so nice and slowly So next we come into the camel, which is another back bend, which opens up here, the front of the body, but strengthens our back. So knees about hip width apart. First of all, we just start, start with the hands on the lower back and the fingertips are pa uh, facing down. So we're just trying to push the hips forward, but kind of lifting the chest up towards the ceiling. We can still look forward or we can look up towards the ceiling. Holding for about three breaths. And then slowly coming forward again. So the next stage would be to bring the hands onto the back of the thighs, onto your hamstrings. Okay, so pushing the chest forward, trying to draw your shoulder blades together and leaning back slightly. So still looking forward or looking up towards the ceiling, three breaths. Kind of let your body go back a bit if you can. Okay, and coming forward again. And then the last one is where we bring the hands to the feet. So start with the hands on the lower back, breathe in, breathe out. Then take the hands down the back of the thighs, leaning back a bit, breathe in. Breathe out and then see if you can reach your heels. And pushing the chest up, pushing the hips forward. If you're there, hold for three breaths. And then coming out the way you went in, so bring the hands to the back of the thighs and then bring the hands to the lower back. Okay, and then with the hands on the lower back, just coming forward, and then bring the hands down to tabletop. So some cats and cows again, breathing in, breathing out, push into the mat, try and arch the spine up towards the ceiling. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and out. Okay, so coming 
going to now sit on your mat. So if you've got a block, it might help. So we're going to do butterfly and some other moves from butterfly. So the, um, I'll come this way. So the block just helps us get that extra fold forward. It also helps us bring our knees closer to the floor. So for a butterfly, just kind of perching on your block and sitting up with a nice tall spine, lifting the chest forward. Butterflying the knees up and down. Notice where the stretch is here. So butterfly, the stretch should be in your um, adductors, inner thigh area. Trying to draw the chest through. So this is a more yang type butterfly. If you wanted to, you could go as far forward as you can with the chest lifted and then you could allow the back to round. So you could do that if you want to or we can go through the uh, next two stretches with me. So it's entirely up to you. It's your, it's your hour to yourself. It's your practice. So next we're going to try half butterfly. So extending the right leg out to the side and drawing the left foot into the right thigh. So here we're going to do the half butterfly. First of all, we're going to extend the right fingertips along the right leg, and then we're going to bring the left hand so it stretches up and over the head. So you feel a stretch up the left hand side of the body. Or you can bring that left hand on top of the um, right thigh or just onto the lower back. What we're aiming to do is lift your chest up towards the left and draw that left shoulder back. And now release that left hand and come into the forward fold over the right leg. So both hands are either side of your right leg and extend the toes towards the face and try and push your right heel away. Okay, so three breaths in this um, half butterfly forward fold. up slowly okay and then as we lift up we're coming back into butterfly so soles of the feet together lifting the chest forward and butterfly the knees up and down and then we're going into the half butterfly to the left so extending the left leg out to the side, push the heel away, toes towards the face, and draw the right foot into the left thigh. So coming into the side stretch first, so drawing your fingertips as much as you can down your left leg. Okay, and then either stretching up the right hand, and bring it over the head, and feel the stretch up the lateral side of the right body, or to take that right hand behind, and try to reach the top of the left thigh, or just holding on to the, well, pressing the back of the hand into the left waist. The main thing is to try and lift your chest now up to the right hand side and draw that right shoulder back. And then stretching up the right hand and coming to the forward fold, half butterfly. So hands out the side of your left leg, push the heel away, toes towards the face, and feel the stretch in the back. And walk the hands back up slowly, and come back to butterfly. So soles of the feet together, chest lift, good posture, releasing the knees down. And then the last stretch from here is straddle or dragonfly. So stay in butterfly if you want to, it's up to you. 
or we extend both legs out to the side. So both legs out to the side, coming forward. So walking the hands forward. Try to push the heels away, toes towards the face, and try to draw these kneecaps up. And then we're walking the hands forward as far as they'll go, giving them a stretch in the inner thigh again. So we can bring the elbows down to the floor. Some people can bring the chest to the floor. And that's not acceptable to me either. slowly press into the hands draw the body back up and then take the hands underneath the knees draw the knees together and then stretch out both legs okay so we're coming into before final relaxation we'll do our reclining twist so we can do if we want to um, instead of the normal reclining twist with the knees together and the feet together down to the side we could do twisted roots so twisted roots is the right legs out straight, we draw the left ankle and try to bring the left foot underneath the right calf. So kind of a bit like eagle legs and then we draw the feet up and then we're drawing the knees down to the right hand side. So it's more intense than knees together and feet together because we're kind of all knotted up with our legs. So whichever version you're doing, we're just drawing the knees down to the right hand side and holding for five breaths. Slowly bring the knees to the centre. If you're doing the twisted roots, the left leg is out straight. The right foot comes underneath, underneath the left calf and then draw both legs up. If knees are together, feet are together, slowly take the knees down to the left hand side. Try to keep both shoulders on the floor and hold for five breaths. with a breath in, bring the knees to the centre, untwist the legs if they were twisted, maybe a couple of pelvic tilts to reset the spine, and getting ready for your final relaxation, making yourself as comfortable as you can. So I'll sit up so I can speak easier. So have your knees bent up or your knees flat on the floor. With the feet out to the side if the legs are straight out. Just adjusting the chin or the head or the neck. Maybe taking the head side to side if there's any tension in the neck. And just settling yourself to make yourself as comfortable as you can. So fully assimilate the, the effects of the practice tonight. So Shavasana offers this feeling of rest, completeness, openness and release, relaxation. We want to rest all of the muscles, the joints, the tissues in our body. 
First, bring attention to the body and scan the body. So we sometimes unconsciously hold tension in our bodies. So we want to now consciously relax the whole body and be aware where there might be tension. There's finally no need for the muscles or the joints or the tissues to do anything at all. We're simply observing what is happening. And see if you can sense all the muscles and the joints letting go of each other. A sense of release attachment all through the body. And become stiller, quieter and fully relaxed. bring what we've learned tonight in the class into our subconscious, relaxing down into the floor and fully releasing all body holding. Feel the body's weight relaxing down into your mat. Feel how the earth supports you perfectly. Be grateful for your body as it carries you through life and through everything that you do. So we need to allow our bodies to rest. The theory of exercise is all forms of exercise require stress followed by rest. So the muscles and joints need and the organs need consecutive repetitive stress to induce progress. Too little stress in the body results in degeneration and too much stress results in deterioration. So that's why we want to do yoga, we want to do final relaxation, we want to allow our bodies, our minds to slow down, release and let go. for our final two minutes, bring awareness into your breathing and focus on the three part breath again to allow the mind to calm a little bit further.
gently bring awareness back to your body, back to the room. When you're ready, bring movement back to the body, wiggling the fingers and the toes, rotating the ankles, rotating the wrists. Bring both feet together. Breath in, stretch the arms above the head. Breath out, bring the arms back down. And bring both knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a big hug. And when you're ready, Roll over to your right hand side. Rest there for a moment. Press into the hand to press up back to seated slowly. Okay, and thank you for joining uh, and taking part. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you if you can make it tomorrow at half seven in the morning for rise and shine. Okay, thanks everyone. Bye for now.